It has been a little more than a year since a Buffalo police cruiser hit a young woman who was walking on the sidewalk. Chelsea Ellis is now a quadriplegic and depends on a ventilator to breathe. And in her first interview since that accident, Chelsea tells News Force Kelsey Anderson about the major hurdles she's faced and what is she's hoping for for her future. Don Jackie, there is a mechanism Chelsea Ellis can use to speak, but it's difficult to use and exhausting. So she decided during our long interview together, it would be easier to mouth her answers to me. And her aunt Linda, who's sitting next to her, spoke all of Chelsea's answers out loud. Yeah, Every day is a little different. Every day is hard. On April 15th, 2020, Chelsea Ellis's life got hard. She doesn't remember walking on this sidewalk at the corner of Main Street and Benwood Avenue, or when she was hit and thrown by a Buffalo police cruiser. Her last memory was two days prior on Easter. I only know things because people told me. Chelsea was told she was given life-saving CPR three times after the crash. She suffered multiple severe fractures and a traumatic brain injury. But she tells me she's not mad at the person who hit her. I was not an angry person before the accident. And I don't ever want to harbor anger. Instead, she feels sad. Thinking about the accident, I feel sad for my friend Carly, who was with me, for my family and my friends, and for me. The first person she just mentioned is Carly, who was walking with her that day. Carly left the crash scene with neck, back, and knee problems. She mentioned herself last. That's because caring for others above herself is what Chelsea has always done. Before the crash, she was a teacher for refugees. She traveled the world doing missionary work in 11 different countries. She says teaching is what she misses the most. Since my injury, not being able to see my students has been my biggest hardship. Chelsea now lives in this accessible home in Alden. Her loved ones and caregivers are here around the clock, moving her from the bed to this wheelchair that she controls with her eyes. They help dress her, bathe her, everything. Three times a day, they help her with exercises that are helping her get off this ventilator as well. I'm gonna suction you, okay. Chelsea thanks her faith, her family, and her friends for getting her to this point. And you have helped tremendously as well. She gets overcome with emotion when talking about the GoFundMe that's raised nearly $400,000 to help with her medical care. Many of the donations came from those she doesn't even know. I thank them so, 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 so much. I wish I could tell them all individually. I love them. Thank you. Chelsea Ellis has big plans for her future. She says she wants to move back to the city of Buffalo one day and travel the world again. Most importantly, she wants to teach again and inspire others. But from this home, by showing the strength to not only survive, but also move forward with radiating positivity, Chelsea is teaching. And the lesson plan is for every single one of us. If anyone has challenges in their life, big or small, if I can get through this, and I will, then they absolutely can. 
She is so inspiring. And as I mentioned, Chelsea is now working incredibly hard to get off that ventilator, and she recently broke a personal record. Her aunt just sent me this video behind me here of Chelsea breathing off the ventilator for two hours, 15 minutes, and 17 seconds. In the studio, Kelsey Anderson, News 4.